How's it, everyone? This is day number 14. So it's been two weeks already of our lead generation initiative. Uh, and from my side, uh, yeah, if you're a business owner, marketing manager, then you're looking to increase your lead generation or, you know, if your business is dependent on leads, you know, to some extent, the business uh, businesses need to understand that leads are the oxygen to a business. And uh, from our side, uh, I would encourage you, if you're watching this video for the first time or one of these videos for the first time, go back to video one, work your way up because it's all curated. Um, and I think it's going to add a lot of value. So just to give you some context to where we are, uh, we've said that three things are crucial to your lead generation success, right? We've talked about the attention of the customer. We talked about educating the customer. And essentially now we're touching on the offer, okay? You need to present that offer. And essentially two things need to happen with this offer. And we'll articulate more on this in the next video. But you need to make the offer look completely and utterly irresistible, okay? Otherwise, the impact of your marketing won't be as uh, successful as you would like it to be. Like, you need to create an offer. It can't be mediocre. It can't be something that, uh, to an extent uh, that they can get anywhere else. It needs to be an irresistible offer. And there's obviously different ways to go about doing this. Uh, but the number one way would be to create value, right? So value could be either by discounting the price, or providing that discount, and essentially just making sure that you have the best price in the market. Um, but it's not always the best strategy in terms of business because it's not the most profitable, right? It means you need volume. And if you're a service business, you don't always have the hands to take care of that volume, right? But there's other ways to go about increasing that value. And for example, it's about over um, articulating the benefits, right? Not overemphasizing, but making sure that you really educate people on the benefits of the product and really getting them to understand the value. So it's by doubling down on the education phase so that once you present the price, that they go, okay, well, I understand why it's this price. Um, so that's obviously one way of doing it. And then secondly, you need to eliminate all the risk for the customer. Now, it's not always the easiest thing to do, uh, especially in a service business. But if, if you've got any other consumer-facing businesses, and, and some service businesses can obviously look at it, but it's about eliminating the risk, like putting guarantees in place. Like example, take a lot, which is a consumer-facing business. Like if you buy from Take A Lot, what happens is that you can take your product and be like, oh, I don't like it. I want to send it back. And you can send it back. You can get a refund. You can get credit. Like it's really amazing. So what have they done? If you think about it, is that they are eliminating the risk of the customer at the end of the day. So they're removing all these barriers, right? Some simple barriers would be, for example, I don't know if I can trust this company. I don't know if the product is really worth the price. I don't necessarily know what, it, what if I don't like the product. So you need to anticipate what these barriers will be when it comes to your customer, what these questions are going to look like when obviously it comes to that opening your wallet phase. And your offer needs to then be presented and attached to that needs to be all, uh, you know, these kind of like guarantees and I would say bulldozers that could potentially just like eliminate these barriers and take them out of the way. So for example, if it is a price point, there's a discount or you've over articulated the value. If there's a matter of like, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna like the product or I'm gonna be satisfied with the service, have a money back guarantee or have a 100% customer satisfaction guarantee or whatever. Essentially, those are the things that you need to think about when it comes to your offer, which is crucial. And we'll articulate more in this in the next two videos. But that's all from our side today. All the best and have a wonderful day.